Hello everyone, today let's talk about the transparency of windows in elevations and section views. As you can see here, I have my elevation view and I have windows placed in here. And as you can see, the glass material of the windows is not transparent. You can see that if I click on the window, there is something behind the window, but I cannot actually see it. And if I go to my 3D view, you can see that the glass that is used here is transparent. So how can I make my windows transparent the same way as they are in 3D? Well, unfortunately, it is not possible in Revit because for some strange reason they have it set this way that you cannot actually make the glass or any material transparent when you are in elevation or section view. So I will leave in the description the link for the Revit idea if you want this to be implemented, which is for me strange, like why is it not implemented yet? But anyway, so it is not possible to do it right away. So we have to use workarounds and now we are going to see some of them. So first one would be, okay, I will just make the category transparent. So I will go to my VG, to my windows and place here my transparency, let's say 50%, hit OK. And now the windows are transparent, that is nice, but not only the glass is transparent, you can see here, for example, that also my frame of the window is transparent. So for me personally, this is not a viable tactic. So I would go back and clear this, hit OK. Okay, the next possible option is to go and override the transparency by a single element. If I right click it, go override graphics by element. Here I can set the transparency, let's say to be 50 again. And you can see it is transparent, but again, as with previous technique, also the frame of the window is transparent. So again, good, but not good enough. The next thing how to do it or the next possibility is to go inside of the family itself. If I go to my window family in here and select my glass material, you can see that this material, I will go with the consistent colors, has some visibility settings. Here you can see the visibility graphics overrides. And if I go inside of it, you can set specific displays or display options for different views. And here you can see it is turned off in plan, RCP, in left and right and so on. So I will turn off also the front and the back. So it will not be visible from the front or from the back. If I now will load this back into my project and override it. Now you can see that on these windows nothing changed, but on those windows they are now transparent. And the reason why this is happening is that if I will go now to my level where these windows are placed actually, you can see that those windows, I have my elevation going from this way. So for these windows, I'm looking straight like from the front, but these windows are actually not being from front, but they are under some small angle. So if I would like to see them up front, I would need to have elevation is in this way. So as you can see, because these windows are being looked at from an angle, if I will go back to my elevation, the material is still visible because I was able to turn it off only from the front and the back view. So this is also not a viable option for me. So if I will just go back with this and let's go back to the family. So this was the third option. The fourth option is to go again back into the family and make sure that your glass material has a subcategory. Here you can see that I have my subcategory for the glass. And you can control this. I will turn this back on. You can control this subcategory visibility from inside of the Revit project. So if I will load this back into the project, 
and I will go to my visibility and graphics overrides to my windows. And if I go to my subcategories, you can see this is my subcategory of glass. And I can turn only this subcategory inside of this view off. I unfortunately cannot place the transparency only for the glass. And here you can see it is grayed out, but I can turn it off. If I turn it off, now it looks good. You can see that the frame is still solid, is full, it is not transparent. And I can see through the windows the same way as I can see through them inside of my 3D view. So, so far this one looks the best and that it is working the best. But let's say that, okay, I do not want my windows to be 100% transparent, but I want them to be, let's say, 50% transparent. With this technique, I cannot do it. Uh, actually, I cannot do it inside of my elevation view or inside of my section views at all. And I need to do the last workaround, which is to use the 3D view as it would be my elevation view. So if I will go back to my 3D view, you can see now that the glass material has 100% transparency. So I will just change this inside of my materials to be able to make it, let's say, 50% transparent. So now you can see in 3D view, I have my nice 50% transparency for my windows. And what I can do now is to go and let's say I will duplicate this view. So let's go and duplicate view, duplicate. And let's just now say that I want to have this 3D view as it would be my elevation view. So what I need to do is to orient actually this 3D view based on my elevation. And I can do this when I right click on the view cube and go orient to view elevations and I will select my south elevation copy one. And this way I will have my 3D view as it was my elevation, but it is actually a 3D view. So now I can treat my 3D view as it would be an elevation actually. And this is the only way you can make your windows with semi-transparent materials inside of the Revit. So as you can see, you have to use workarounds to be able to use this. And it is strange for me, like why we cannot do this easily from the scratch. So again, if you would like to have this idea, vote for it. I will leave the link in the description below the video.